Okay, so what is going on? Welcome to this long-awaited video. Uh, yeah, it's finally blocks 1.5.0 beta 1. Uh, Can't today, uh, which is 8th of September. It come out at about half 12. It's currently, well, 6.05 p.m. by the time I'm recording this. I was at school today, busy. Yeah, anyway, uh, so let's get on with the video. So the first new feature is the actually lightbox support has been added for images. So what we're going to do going to create a random light box for you guys so I'm going to dump in an image there you go it can be any image let's see what options we got I'll use one of theirs with just the inbuilt ones just for the point of this you want to go interaction scroll down to the very bottom at the bottom you have a light box just click on it once and then you get a light box you can either choose the current image or another image to display actually in the light box so if you click another image you'll get an actual box uh, click on this box you get a choice where did the railway line for this one and then you can have an image caption. So I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put beta five in there, and then simply, I'm just going to launch, launch in the browser here. So you get our, our uh, light. Uh, what is that the golden bridge? No, it's not. That's the bridge in San Francisco. Can't remember the name of it, but I will do it after the video anyway. So what you want to do? Simply click on it. You get the nice transition. And you get this little black border. It's not you can't really see it on this because the image is already quite dark. But you'll get actually what you wrote in the image caption here, which is beta five. You can then actually click. You can't actually click anywhere on the image uh, in standard view. But you can click simply to get out of it. Just click out of the image. Or if we do this, reduce it down to how it look on a mobile. Click on it, and you actually do get an X button here, which highlights in the top right. And you still get your caption and all that. And you can either click or tap because you're on a phone off the screen, or you can actually tap on the X and it will get rid of it for you in tablet view isn't really an issue still opens up how you'd expect and yeah that's what there is for image light boxes let's move on okay guys so the next new feature is actually a fixed nav bar now this is something which has been very 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 heavily requested since the start blocks so what you want to do just uh, do a nav bar like you would before oh, uh, you can select any one of these but for this purposes I'm actually going to select uh, try go for that one a uh, nice simple one. I'm actually going to make it the black color that's built into blocks. Uh, to simply activate it, you'll see at the top it just go down, divider, and sticky. And sticky, just click yes. That's it. You've done it. You've activated it. I'm going to preview it. And here's what you get. Pretty normal. You can scroll down just below where, and then bang, clips into play here. No opacity effects in it, so it does literally fit over everything. And when you get to the top, it all. Uh, disappear one thing that I personally don't like uh, you guys might not like it as well uh, is the actual an animation maybe uh, turn that off or maybe not be able to change it because the animation uh, it's actually quite nice in some circumstances but I like it to be sticky so instead of having this oh it's not sticky it's not sticky oh wait it is or how most people do it scroll down oh my page is a bit glitchy you know what I mean um, so yeah if you guys could pass that on to normal, I'll put it in the thing. That'd be good. Uh, let me know if that's also an issue for you in the comment section below. But yeah, that's uh, all there is for sticky now. So let's move on. Okay, so the next new feature actually is hero blocks. Um, now, eventually, normal has said he's going to get rid of these, uh, which I don't. Yeah, probably a good idea actually, because they're pretty. They're always pretty. Um, well, they're good for certain circumstances, but can be a bit annoying. But there you go. So what you're able to do now is actually edit them so I'm just gonna simply get rid of all that's in the current one and I get left with this row if you like and uh, what I'm actually gonna do now is build if you watch my last video build a sign up form in it so there's that actually that's wrong uh, we're actually gonna dump a form in it there's that then you add the new section which is cast as a form kind of uh, add a new label which is under forms and label add two new labels and a button in at the side and then we can get rid of all this like we did before simply make this form fill and medium and there you go you've got your uh, you've got your hero block now it's fully editable in a way to a certain extent, it is only in that row section. You can add stuff actually below here, uh, which is a bit odd, but yeah, you can add anything under company if you want. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, test it. Let's put in a one of those, and we're gonna have a look in the browser, see what it looks like. Get that simple warning message. You can scroll down, 
And yeah, so that's how you can edit your hero blocks now. Of course, it's not going to say anything because that's not a proper button. But there you go. So you can actually use brick dropping in hero blocks. More features to come. Okay, so the next feature is also a hugely requested feature. Uh, this one is actually video block backgrounds. Now, to demonstrate this, I thought it would be best just to put in a random one here. I've got a few ways of showing this, but this is the first one I'm going to show you. So what you can do is actually just click on the, well, just pull in the block, click on the background, make sure the background is selected. Go down to this yellow square here. Uh, very nice colours that should be used. Oh, and then simply go on to yes, and it'll put in a uh, almost like a placeholder one. Uh, but simply add your own. There are certain requirements that you must fulfil. The video must be no more than five megabytes, which is for a uh, for a video that's quite small. But um, and it also has to be MP4, which makes it better because MP4s tend to be smaller. Yeah, you get you get the idea. So. For me, personally, when I've, I've uploaded my video to YouTube, then I've downloaded it from YouTube, um, using YouTube's default compressors, all that, uh, my 39, oh, a 39 second video for me is 1.9 megabytes. So times that up, that's about two, double that. Um, you can have about one minute 40 video if you upload it and download it to YouTube, let YouTube compress it, you know, all that. Um, and this is also an mp4 so to me to put it into blocks you want to hold it put blocks back drag it in the background okay guys upon further investigation um, basically what you have to do make sure is your video hasn't got little un unused characters by blocks such as percentage signs that was you put in when I downloaded the video from YouTube in fact what I've just done is re-empt to one.mp4 and the file seemed to work fine uh, if you go into your product assets I'm just going to remove this asset the faulty one but you can't simply put preview video or remove asset. Let's preview the video. Opens up a quick time window where you can actually preview preview your uh, your video for you there as it play. Oh, yep, it's got the sound in as well. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, you go. So simply to make that as your video background, what well, it actually is now. Um, is it play here? Oh, no, it's not actually a thing. It just looks like it. Uh, anyway, so what you can do now is I'm just going to have a few more things in, such as had a gallery underneath and then uh, we're going to preview the browser and see what this looks like oh there you go so it's got my video playing in the background looks a bit disorientating should we say uh, because you know expect to see blocks within blocks blockception here we go I could put I can make a video with a video inside a video that would look very interesting wouldn't it basically this is only a 39 second video guys um, just small videos time lapses as well they've they're also pretty effective uh, yes yeah, so you can scroll down and they'll simply ignore it. Uh, be warned, large videos. The reason why it is limited to five megabytes is that it would kill the app, according to normal. And also, page loading times would be greatly affected the more videos you have. So, if your website does highly depend on that video on its design, if it is very large and viewers or people come to your website will having to wait a long time for it to load, they're not going to bother waiting for it to load, and your page will probably just end up being quite bad. So, we're also going to have a look what it looks like in the mobile mobile view. So, we make it small. Uh, it still plays, that's always interesting, so you can still activate the menus, still runs, which is which is quite odd to be honest, but yeah, it looks pretty cool actually. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good, so, so it proves it still does work in the large backgrounds, so I'll move on. The next new feature is actually to be able to put in multiple one of these from just here, so if you want to create multiple blocks so you know what you want, so what do I want, I want headers hmm. so I what I want is I want a to so want a uh, want a call to button first so if you hold on command or option um, and then simply click and go on another one here add a pricing table click and it will basically add them in the order that they were kind of clicked in so it'll keep stacking them up if you like so if you wanted to do both top to bottom you have to do bottom to top I think you guys get what I mean, but yeah, simply you can just, or if you want to insert loads, you can go bang, 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 and I've got inserted about four, <laughs> four of those empty blocks there, so that's another new feature. So another new feature now is to be able to actually go on the site, so it, say you want to create footer here, and you only want the footer to appear on the first page, uh, we're going to want it to be a, yeah, as you know, we want it to be brands, so we're going to have brands, we're going to have a brands page there, so you only want that to appear in your actual starting page now if you create another page here create a hi you still get that footer and you actually can't get rid of it without getting rid of it from 
the all the other pages, which is can be quite frustrating. So what I want to do is go on to the page you don't want your footer or header. You can do this with the header as well. It doesn't have to be a footer. Go in here and under the actual page and click on page settings underneath title, add navigable link, include sticky footer. Air. You can turn that off for the page. Go on home, it will still be there. And you can do this for all the other pages as well. We and uh, you can include them, you don't have to include them if you want. You can do this the same with the header as well. No, you don't have to include the header um, on all the other pages as well. So such as this, this will now appear all the pages. But at this one, if you don't want the header to appear, just go on page, uh, sticky nav. And the nav is gone, but it will still appear on the other pages. Um, that's pretty cool. So yeah, there's another thing for you guys. There's another brand new feature. A new feature is to actually with swatches. So if you just go on, to, I'm using links here, but you can do this with any other swatch. As you know, we'll do it with the page actually. So you can go on color, and then you get your colors here. Now we can actually add another color. I'm just going to choose that's better. Um, and you have the option here to un oh not that. to unlink swatch or delete swatch. Uh, you can also click minus to delete swatch, but you still get the same, yeah, same as the minus, but it's another thing. Or you can simply unlink the swatch and it will get rid of it, but it won't from that block, particular block. So if we go on here, add another one, we give them both these colors. What you can do here is click unlink swatch and only unlink the swatch, that color from that block. Uh, it's better if you demonstrate it. So here we go. There's that one. But say I click on the bottom one and I want to remove the color from the bottom one, I can go on here. Unlink swatch instead of having to click on another color first, just click unlock and it will go back to one of the two default colors to the left of you. So that's another feature. A new feature is probably one you've seen me use loads of times already in this video. It's actually this new uh, block search menu. So basically, it's just suggesting stuff that might be useful for that task. So go into pricing, it's got pricing tables because they're pricing social, social, testimonials, well, what you expect, brands, it's got some brand blocks, specials, their footers over there so pretty much everything is a bit more organized instead of having blocks you have to scroll through for ages and ages and ages to get to this is just a bit more refined and a better way of doing things uh, yeah we've also got improved logo editing control so if you see this logo here it's got a logo in it uh, well, I don't have to use that one actually we we'll use this one it's got a logo on the side uh, you can click on that and you've got a few more controls here that might take your fancy there you go or you can turn that back down to 40 if you want. Got anything here. And you can go on here. I'm just going to add a photo. Here you go. I'm just going to add. I'm not going to add that actually. I'm going to add a. What do we got in here? I'm going to add my old logo. I'm going to pop that in there. And you can change the alt name change the height and the width you can turn up the width and it will automatically do the height there you go so just more of a few improved editing controls for your logos uh probably be a few more in the future but that's all we've got for now there's another feature so the final feature is actually an unusual one so you're actually able now so when you create a page you can actually call it you can actually use the at sign so if you look at the at sign uh it's above the number seven so you use shift and seven to get it so i'm going to use um I am, and then I'm gonna no me and sorry not at me. I'm gonna use the shift and Bob uh, friends. Not you spell friends, but it will correct it for me. Me and Bob are friends. You can actually create a page with that name if you so want to. If you want to use the and symbol, but there you go. It's actually a default page name now setting. Uh, yeah. Um, final features to add is you can only uh, put in photos that are no bigger, no smaller, yeah, no bigger than two megabytes um, for images. And I've already mentioned, but it's five megabytes for photos. So keep that in the back of your mind uh, when you're exporting images from Sketch and stuff. You might have to download some image compressors if compressions. If you want to look at mine uh, personally, I use JPEG Mini, uh, really good tool. Uh, ways to get it for free, or it's quite cheap if you want to buy it. I uh, recommend that. I've done a video on that if you don't know how to use it. Um, but yeah, if you if you thought that's for photos only videos, I recommend you can add some video compressors, compression software. Try Handbrake if you put in Handbrake or one word into Google uh, like this. So anyway, Handbrake is the software you want for that. 
Uh, that's all the new features. Of course, there's always been bugs that have been fixes fixed. Just literally, if you had that bug before, experiment might have gone. Probably has gone uh, if you've reported it. Must it, or you probably weren't the only one having it, so it's probably been fixed. So as usual, lots of bugs fixes. Uh, so probably the last major update we're gonna have a while apart from when it's officially released. Then I might do another video. I'll see. Um, but these are pretty much all the new features now. It's literally just getting down to bug bug fixing for the guys at Kazubi. Yeah, Kazubi now because there's a few more of them working there. It's not just Norm. He's, he's got company, should we say? Uh, hopefully we'll get introduced to them soon. Uh, but yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.